But I'm ready. Oh my god. I just peed in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best sound. I just peed in my basement. So far, you're my third guest, and both other guests did not smoke. As in, like they didn't cringe, or like they just no, didn't they just have... they don't smoke, so they both they both drink. The only thing I actually almost thought I was gonna have to do that because I couldn't find my pen, but I found it. I found it. We're good. We're Dude, good. Dude, I would have had a I would have day. Hi, happy Monday, and welcome back to the famed series. You cringe, you smoke. With my guest, I've got a guest with today, and his name is Ethan. Ethan is online. He's a YouTuber. Hi. He's a YouTube. I thought you were just gonna say more. He's a YouTuber, and <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. He's a YouTuber. Yeah, he is. And Ethan, today we're gonna play a game called mm -hmm. You Cringe, You Smoke. You know how to play? No. Anyways, this is how you play, guys. We are gonna watch a cringe video, and every time that we decide that a cringe moment has happened, us collectively as a chat will delve in and take a piece of our vices. Mine being my hearty milk here. Ethan, what's your vice back home? My trusty little uh, paper airplanes vape with uh, it's mainly. It's mainly CBD. <laughs> you, what is that shirt? Oh, it's like a dare shirt. Who resist drugs and violence? You're do you're currently doing drugs right now. Only one drug. Oh. But chat, you at home can also play with us even if you don't smoke. Every time we cringe, you could do one of those little cartoon runs away from the screen where you go. You could watch an entire episode of Game of Thrones. You could pause the stream or the video and come back when you're done. Let's introduce our chat and our video of the day. Uh, chat is up there. They're gonna say hi to YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Hey, I don't know if you know this, but I have a channel called Nick Is Not Streams where I upload the full uncut versions of the stream and the Ethan one should be up today. So you should go check out that channel and play along at home. And if it's not up yet, I'm sorry. Just check out the channel. Stop, stop. Just watch the, just watch the video. You wanna do a, a celebratory introductory hit just for the existence of Steven Crowder? To Steven Crowder, I legitimately hope you suffer in your life and maybe die. Ah! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean, yeah, I should have warned you about that. Sorry, trigger warning. So fucked up. The new Star Wars is literally about Trump. They said it, but I can't believe it. Andor about Trump. <laughs> Dude, he, lo what is, he looks fucked up. <laughs> I can't get over it. He looks so fucked up. He's kind of had this bad boy on it. Okay, let's go. Here from the quartering, and I, I, I remember like making jokes about this, like, oh, the new Star Wars will just have like a Trump villain in it, and because modern day writers love their self. What does that mean? <laughs> Star Wars literally has like like Hitler in it. He's like they're gonna go so far as to make a Trump character. So wait, did you watch whatever this is about? Like, do we know? It's not out yet. That's the funniest what? part. <laughs> They've only showed a trailer. For what? What is this? It's or? the. Do you remember Rogue One? The Andor. Oh, it's the one about the random guy. Cassie and Andor. Yeah. And then everyone was hoping there would be a show about. Why are we giving this dude more of a platform? Do you know who I've done videos Bro. on? What do you mean? I just did a video on Andrew Tate. This might have been about uh, Stevie C, which he has the biggest platform. We're not. He's also the most well paid right wing YouTuber. Yeah. Regardless. Also, just don't tell me what to do when I stream. It just makes yeah, me. Yeah, that's cringe. the real cringe. I'm going to take a smoke for that. Yeah, you can watch someone else. It's okay. Fuck. <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah, he's fine. Don't worry. Nick feels really good. Play that was my bad. I hit my milk too hard. Did it break? Seriously. And, and I, we were constantly told, what are you talking about? Dude, what, what is, is he doing? doing? Say bad boy. Power. What is he do? Why not is- not inserting modern politics or they're saying, uh, they'll say stuff like, well, Star Wars was always political. We it literally that. was always political. The first movie is a fucking Hitler movie. It's literally like a Holocaust movie. <laughs> But a Hitler movie. It's a Hitler movie. <laughs> but also, like, he said modern politics. He's gonna make the argument that if it's modern politics, it's bad. Also, when Star Wars came out, the World War II was only 30 years prior, if that, and that was the end of World War II. So it's like if we had made, if Star Wars had Bill Clinton in it, according to his logic, I guess that would be fine because that was 30 years ago now. Why is it bad if it's newer? If it's like modern, if it's politics? modern politics, because then it's cringe and you're uh... and you have an agenda. If it's politics from 30 years ago, though, like Bill Clinton, then it's not an agenda. OK, that makes a lot more sense. I get what you're saying. I get where you're coming from now. Dude, they should do a movie, Star Wars movie about Bill Clinton and the Monica Lewinsky scandal. Well, let's see how this is going to work out for them, because according 
to feel dude nice. is he like wasted when he records these uh, yeah i think that's my maybe, maybe the vibe that i'm getting from like his fucked up face <laughs> he looks like he's on something like he's on like benzos or something sorry guys a lot of this cringe is going to be different from like the cut kind of cringe <laughs> this is more just like every second we have to stop and talk about this guy he but, peed in his wife's basement by the way oh my god we i forgot that about that we should i would love that ethan should rap bornana i could make orange round with banana <laughs> Or Nana eating pork rind sword fighting in pajamas at the crib playing Fortnite with your grandma. You are telling on yourself right now. <laughs> At the like four five with the grabber. So guys, let me set the scene. Jeremy the quartering was upset because his wife went out to pizza without him. <laughs> so he got really drunk playing Fall Guys on stream. And he got so mad about his wife leaving him for pizza that he said that if he lost that round of Fall Guys, he would piss in his, he would piss in his basement. The basement floor. So then he lost a game and he was like, that's it. I'm doing it. And then he went into like a pipe in the corner of his basement, I think, like on the floor. And he like like peed into it and then he came back and was like i peed in my basement <laughs> guys out there listen to me there's no fucking excuse to be an incel on the internet you can't do it the quartering is married the quartering has had sex before <laughs> You can't. There's gonna be someone out there who will love you. I mean, I don't know if his wife loves him, but like, she do totally doesn't. But she's consensually but like, married to him. You could find someone out there, guys. Don't be insults. You could find someone who will consensually marry you and will put up with you, and you can go and play video games in your basement, and they'll still sleep with you. They might not love you. You you'd rather have fake love than than no love at all and a lot of hate in your heart. Me? Yeah. I don't hate women. I love women. <laughs> I'll hire you already, dude. Oh dude, my god. Did you god. see how much I coughed? That was like the hardest yeah. hit I've ever taken of my bong. Like I'm not even oh kidding. My god. <laughs> okay. This is so this is this is a legendary video. You never know. You never know. <laughs> you never know. You never know. You never know. You never know. Maybe I'm gonna pee in my trash can later. I don't know. My wife went out for pizza without me. And I'm angry about it. <laughs> So I'm gonna win this round, and I'm gonna pee. If I win this gonna... round, I'm gonna pee in my own basement. <laughs> Dude, he does sound fucking trashed, wasted. He's so he is like so wasted in this video. I mean, that whole thing's gotta be a cringe. I mean, it's yeah, funny to true. me because I've seen it so many times, but it's so it's so bad. Also, dude, like the fucking background is so funny to me. It's like pro Jared's background. I like the Game <laughs> Boy. Shut the fuck up. We all like the Game Boy, bitch. What do we think about that? <laughs> His fucking camera angle is so I have a bathroom fun. down here. Okay, hold on. I actually have to pause it. I gotta be here for this. Tell us dirt about Nick. I love Nick. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing I could ever say that would make people dislike Nick. Because Nick's a genuine guy. He's not ill. He's not fucked in the head. He's a good guy. He does he does good things. You guys talking about Don world. Rickles? Rest yeah. Peace, you ever think about how Tommy Pickles' name is Dill Pickles? Wait. Tommy Pickles. I thought we were talking about I mean, Don, his, we were talking about Don no, Rickles. Tommy Pickles has a brother named Dill Pickles. Were we talking about Don Rickles or were we no. talking about Tommy Pickles? I asked if we were talking about Don Rickles. Why would we be talking about Don Rickles right now? Because that's what I asked and then you said, yeah, we're talking about Don Rickles. And I was like, rest in peace. Who the fuck is Don Rickles? Dude, he's like a, a classic comedian. He just died he five died years like, ago. He just died five years ago. <laughs> when you're 91 years old, five years was just five years. How is he in Toy Story 4? It came out like a year ago. They bring they him back. Him up. Yeah, they woke him up for it. Well, the movies <laughs> happen before they come out. Like they take, they have years of production. But they like probably already years? had his voice lines. Yeah, dude, it says he's in Toy Story 4 right here. Yeah, two, two years. is like when a movie starts pre-production. Yeah, but you do animation like... at the end. You do the animation after the Yeah, voice. but you don't do voice acting in the beginning. You do writing in the beginning. Then you have to write what he says to me first. how he's in the show. He's, he's not. Show. Do you think everything fucking Google says is right? Who was Mr. Potato Head in Toy Story 4? They did a thing where they used old unused voice lines and pieced them together. That's fucked up. I hate that, actually. You think they should have killed him in the movie? No, I think they should just recasted him it's the same shit that they do with like star wars where they like de-age somebody mm -hmm. when they could just get someone who kind of looks like him and like that's what they used to do before movies were soulless well dude it's about preserving the legacy of a legendary no it's not character. it's about no look it says his team asked their family it oh, was a no-brainer mindy rickles <laughs>
<laughs> Mindy Rickles. Mindy said Rickles. It, you it guys heard no it, dude. Mindy Rickles said it was no brainer. No, like the only reason they're not fucking putting in fucking new actors so they could be like, oh, this is like a contract actor. Well, also so they can put Don Rickles' name on the fucking on the bill. Don Rickles is not gonna fucking bring in any fucking seats, dude. That's the only reason like, I've ever watched any of these movies. It's for Dr. <laughs> dude. <laughs> He's like one of the original. St- Three Stooges. Nobody fucking gives a shit. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> You're talking about Don Rickles from the Don Rickles show. You better get your shit together. And he plays Don Robinson on that show. <laughs> they should do a movie yeah. where it's John Hamm and Brad Pitt, buddy cop. But Brad Pitt plays John Hamm and John Hamm plays Brad Pitt. And Brad Pitt takes a, 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 takes a hammer and puts the claw around a guy's testicles and drags him around. <laughs> we need to finish doing this. We're on no, cringe no, no, we- counter number four. I was ready to pee my pants. Ready to, Dude, he's I, so I, drunk. I don't have a toilet down here. All I have is a drain in the floor. <laughs> he's slurring his fucking speech. Oh, it's so bad, dude. Oh, is this bad of us to laugh at a... Nope, he's a bad person. List off his, his worst crimes. In 1997, he went into my bathroom in what? my house. Yeah. Believe it or not, I owned a house back then. The housing market was a different place prior to 9-11. It changed a lot of things and people don't think about that. People think about the 2008 housing crash as the moment that housing prices really changed in America, but that was really the moment that corporate property management started buying the houses. Before 9-11 was the real crash. What's he talking about, guys? The quartering did 9-11. Oh my god. Every episode of... (laughs) Look at the screenshot, dude. Dude, that's a great reaction image. (laughs) No caption, no bitches. <laughs> Look at him go. Dude, what is <laughs> he's so Tika Quinn says, Nick, can you please wave? My dad is watching and he's a big fan. He's a big fan of me. That's why Ethan is hip flipping him off. So I got these knockoff crocs no. like crockoffs. <laughs> what? Where I did you find care. this person? Kill him. What? Why would we kill them? Whoever put this in the chat, kill them. Who's this? Three what are we looking ones. at? I just, I just. What, what, I say, do, say, say, what are you doing? What are you doing? Autumn from Dozen. <laughs> Creekside. Yeah, I literally used to live in Creekside. I just moved. You guys watch YouTube. I yeah. used to. I don't. That's know. mine. Oh, he said my comments. Give him some coins. Nah, shoot. Give him a, I oh, I have Autumn coins. Joy. I have coins. Autumn. I'm scared. I don't want them to think I'm weird. I think oh, still in this dude, thing. what if I say I'm gonna have a meeting? You're still in it. And then we have a bunch Ooh, of people you know, come in, and then like, no, <laughs> that's like the yeah, most awful wrong. thing. You're trying to raid the fucking live chat. Don't do it, guys. <laughs> give them 170 ice cream cones Jacob, instead. Uh, yeah. Say, I'm going to give you 170 ice Whoa, cream Jake. cones. Is that okay? I need to give you ice cream. Yeah. Wait, you only gave one. <laughs> Jace. No, Jace. no, Jace. guys, don't raid Nick. You gotta get out of here, <laughs> guys. You gotta stop. We gotta stop. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Dude, this is guys. They don't know. They don't watch Twitch. They don't understand. They're gonna think you're mean to them. You no, have to me. get out of me. We're not mean. Give them ice cream or get the fuck out I'll of there. Give their them more chat. ice cream. I'll give them more ice cream. Uh, he just ignored my question. Stop asking about ice cream and give them ice cream. <laughs> I'm giving them so much ice I'm cream. I'm not talking dude. to you, Nick. I'm talking to the chat, dude. You're gonna. You want them to spend money if they have coins. No one Stop has saying coins raid. except for me. Stop <laughs> saying raid. They don't know what that means. They aren't in the. They don't even watch YouTube. They don't know. They don't know what that means. Ethan is suffering so hard. It's like I feel so bad for them. Who's this? Straight. <laughs> it's them again. I am straight. Give them ice cream. Ethan, I've given them so much ice cream. You I gave them like eight ice creams. Give them. Dude, more. what is your deal with the ice cream? Oh, what are you gonna use these coins for? You didn't even know you had them. Dude, I'm using. I'm using them. I'm using them right now, Ethan. No, just like fucking sit there on the button. I want to see the reaction. Dude, what is, why do you want me to send them so much ice cream? <laughs> what is going on? I want them to react. I don't know what it means. No! That is not. Get all the ice cream. You like blondes? Oh yeah. I always knew. Okay, I think this whole ice cream thing is going above our head. They're sending ice cream when they say. No, I know that, but I think it's like. This guy looks like he's in the new Jurassic Park movie. I was just thinking that. Dude, look at this guy sending him so much ice cream. Oh my god, he's trying to pass she's you up. Girlfriend. Oh, I just realized I'm like winning. No, I, I can't wait to go to Nashville. 
I'll be there probably pretty soon, if I had to guess. Mark's Your connection's unstable, dude. No, no. Uh, <laughs> dude, this is good. No! We gotta watch the quartering pee in his basement. I feel like we're gonna have to use it, though. I feel like we're gonna have to use it. <laughs> we're gonna have to use it, though. <laughs> I gotta pee so bad. God, he's so drunk. I gotta, so bad. I gotta pee so bad. I gotta pee so bad. I gotta pee so bad. I'll never survive this round. And it's because his wife left to go get pizza with her friends and didn't invite him. Dude, why, he, he's an adult. Why did he just go? Why did he just drive over? Or no. Unless it's like she's going with her friends and he doesn't like her friends because he's misogynistic or something. Or they like know what he does and they hate him. That would be so funny. I gotta pee so bad. I gotta pee so bad. Do it, King. I wanna lose so I can pee. But I don't want to lose. How the like? How sad do you gotta be like making jokes in the quarterings Twitch chat while he's playing Fall Guys? <laughs> I'm gonna smoke. <laughs> this game has no rules. I make the rules. This is gonna be the best video. Oh wait, what's this? I've seen this before. Oh, this is awesome. Is this some sort of parody? I mean, you've already liked yeah, it. Yeah, you so got I that. Oh, no, I just liked it now because I thought it would be. I thought it'd be cool, so I just liked it now. This is really good though, like legitimately. Thank you. I used to put so much more time into my videos. Hey, hey. <laughs> I used to have a song video. for everything. We had a Vader in the Zims. Skating with my friends with scraping knees and doing kick flips. I'm skating with Jesus. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I put so much effort into my shit. Oh, those are my fans. We had a song and we have a song in this one too. Brain is riding <laughs> I don't like this one that much. We never needed to elect the next president of the United States. He was right here the whole time. <laughs> I mean, that's, that shit's good. Dude, you and I actually made a song, a parody song of our own. Uh, butterfly I never lady, it. I butterfly know. lady. Wait, let's pull up the lyrics and see it and then get the instrumental. Well, you won't really be able to perform it because it's not going to be like synced up. I think you should still Dude, try. Wait, listen to the Take Me to Church radio edit. Tell us your story, Jose. This is such a like somber, sad song. And like, this is all this fucking DJ Mike did is just take the lyrics and like raise the tempo and put the fucking gym beat behind it, the Planet Fitness type beat. Also, Nick, I love you. You're so great. Like, you're one of the only people in the world who would jam out with me to the radio edit of the Take Me to Church. Yeah, I love you too, man. Thanks. I appreciate <laughs> that. Um, we were gonna redo the butterfly lane. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh. This is inspired by S Sekirai. <laughs> Sekirai! I'm waking, waking up to this girl boss. I use my flame and I spur my blood. Dying twice. Butterflies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fighting her and parrying. If I had a team, I'd be carrying. This is it. The second phase. Shwing. Was I really that off? It Somebody was said, like by over so a second. <laughs> it was like because the Discord delay. Every time like <laughs> another one of those like incel guys gets mad at us, they can just like play this some clip like this, and like we're fucked. Like we look like idiots too. <laughs> we look so stupid. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> For the mega guy, do they just like lower the pitch? Is that why it sounds like that? Yeah, I think they lower the pitch and I think they just cut off the part where he says ka. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare talk about water. Dude, this is a grown uh, ass man, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you dare talk about water. Come on! <laughs> dude! <laughs> You got your lighter out for the encore. How do you shut a Zippo lighter without like, without it looking lame? It always looks cool to shut a Zippo lighter because it goes. Not when I do it. We Sorry, I'm seeing Weezer right now. Everyone's saying Weezer in chat. Uh, guys, I have asthma. I sometimes I'm gonna breathe a little bit harder to the mic, but you can't. Yeah. It's body shaming and ableist too. Yeah. 
let's see how this is going to work out for them because according you see what i mean when we're 30 seconds we've only seen 30 seconds of the main video <laughs> yeah so this is his coffee brand coffee dot co what does that mean let me look at his website let's, let's see his uh, squarespace template do you think it's called coffee brand coffee it's coffee no woke bullshit yeah look literally what i just said oh my god dude ready, ready to ditch gimmick coffee? this is literally our gimmick, gimmick is that we're really yeah we have no gimmick look at all these like fun stock images that are definitely not this no this, this is the warehouse this is where they make the coffee mm. <laughs> This is Murray, our coffee guy. <laughs> Literally, like, I know it goes without saying, but the fucking idea of this being an, an apolitical coffee brand when it's literally all political, the whole point yeah, of it is- Yeah, coffee is sourced from fucking Central and South America. The whole reason he made it is like an yeah, anti-liberal thing. And he's yeah. like- no bullshit coffee there's no politics attached to this and it's like you have politics attached to you so you and yeah. the, the brand's political and you even say in here disney movies to, uh, to ice cream and even comment like what do you think you're talking about dude right <laughs> like, he's talking about big gay ice cream is the best <laughs> have you ever seen my uh my fan cam i made for michael bloomberg for michael bloomberg it was one of my first tiktoks oh here it is when Is this genuine? I can't tell. Derek said he's kind of hot though. And Derek's girlfriend said woke king. What's that about? Do you think they like him? I also made this did. one too. <laughs> <laughs> it's called mining. It's called we do a little mining. <laughs> Dude, wait, you made a TikTok about if Crazy Frog has a penis? Yeah, originally this was uncensored, but they yeah, it me. got taken down. Dude, I made a TikTok. One of my first TikToks is about Crazy Frog having a penis. That's awesome. Like, for real, that's so weird. This that's one never really popped point. off. It should have popped off. It has to be some kind of practical joke that they're playing on me. On me. Man, he's got a Hulk and penis. Finally, and we're back. We two. got two what? seconds Jesus. further. <laughs> that happened we got distracted by the coffee now there's nothing on the screen to distract us except for uh all of the weird right wing uh social medias he has the right wingers are just like so bad at design like they are the, like it's so funny are these boys still watching the same video <laughs> we only got 30 seconds into it <laughs> the new star wars series andor will quote be great <laughs> A great. You can't even talk, dude. I'm like, why are you delivering a news story while you're under the influence? It's just bizarre. It's great, a great take on the Trumpian. It doesn't even say that. I'm like, what? Are you going crazy? The new Star Wars series Andor will quote be great. <laughs> a great take on the Trumpian. <laughs> be. Great, uh, be as gr a great take on the Trumpian world. I'm I'm cringing, guys. We're still playing the game. It's the longest you cringe you smoke so far. I feel so bad. <laughs> you guys don't even know. You know how it's like stressful if someone puts out like like a big video about you or like says some shit about you, but to just have like a raw clip like this out on the internet in real life, just imagine having a clip like this out and just like going and trying to meet people and trying oh, to like dude. have like friends and stuff like if i had a friend and a video like that came out i would not have that friend anymore i don't know i just don't know how you even live life like with something like this out there without constantly you can look them up and it's just gonna show up don't talk about water don't don't talk about water he's so <laughs> fucking sloshed don't talk about it don't talk about it don't talk about it Dude, this is so bad. It's get, it's so sad too. Get to the piss, man. Nick looks just like Buddy Holly. Oh, oh, eat this man, Tyler Moore. The showrunner created a whole new morality. Interesting. I can't wait. I mean, sign me up. I suppose if they if uh, if they had chosen Biden. 
it would just be a you could never catch me talking about a political thing and sounding this insecure and unsure about what i'm trying to say like i would not yeah i would not put out a video where like i'm that not articulate about unarticulate where i'm not in i don't know who cares he's just doing the grift he's just phoning it in he's drunk there you have it <laughs> if they if uh if they had chosen biden it would just be a world of hyperinflation, I suppose, instead of hyperspeed. Fucking crickets, dude. Oh my god. god. I can't even believe this story is real, but it is super real. And we're going to get into it after a super quick word from this video sponsor. Huge shout out to this yes. video sponsor, Established Titles. Established Titles. <laughs> Is that the Lord one? Yeah. Good thing you didn't work with them. I think they actually did offer me something. Now I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Estelch Tiles. No, guys, if I ever do a sponsorship for established titles, you could just post this clip of me and cancel me. That gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a currently 10% off any Dude, purchase you guys can you get one square foot. Code. So click the link it's below. It's so stupid. Go it's literally find. like buying a star. All None of them are gonna go to fucking Ireland or wherever they're selling this land and actually be like, oh, this is it. <laughs> can you believe that Jer Jeremy the quartering is a lord? Lord the quartering? Yeah, <laughs> we do have to address him that way. One time this guy's dad introduced himself to me as the homeowner. I was like playing a show with my high school band at his graduation party and he was like, nice to meet you, I'm the homeowner. And I was like, what the hell? Why would you say that? Yeah, and, you, and then you said, yeah, homo ner. I didn't say that because I'm I'm a heterosexual, so... But you can say that. Multiple other people covering this exactly the same way. Here's Empire Online. Here's people's rights are disappearing. Star Wars show introducing Trumpian world. What does this headline even mean? People's rights are disappearing. Star Wars Stop. show introducing Trumpian world. Why are there so many? Look at how many fucking apostrophes there are on the screen here. <laughs> how many single apostrophes? What is with? It's like I'm, I'm, What does any of this mean? World inside yeah. the magic. Andor is undoubtedly the most anticipated Star Wars series since The Mandalorian. No, it isn't. With, nah, that's not true uh, at all. Uh, yeah, it's not. Just, is anyone excited for it? Are you excited for it? You're like a big I'm fan. I'm excited you, for it in like a weird... You like Andor? Like, I hate Rogue One, but... No, I'm you like, don't like Rogue One? It, no, I think that movie fucking sucks. Oh, I actually but, like that movie. Okay, uh, what are one of the characters' names? Uh, Andor. <laughs> What's his first name? Uh, I think it's like Chris. <laughs> Dude, I don't care. I don't know the names of any of the Star Wars characters besides the ones that are fucking branded the on ones every that are, single. Yeah, because they're not the even main they're characters. Branded, they're well written characters. Yeah, but the main characters of Rogue One are nothing. I know. That's my point. But I don't like the other. I don't like the other Star Wars movies that much. So I thought this one looked nice. It was like the best looking one to me. Mm, you haven't seen the Last Jedi then, or looked at it right? No, I did. I actually did watch the whole movie. Yeah, but it looks way better. The DP on that movie is fucking Steven Yeldon or whatever, and it's great. So it looks way better than Rogue One, in your opinion. Oh, in my okay, yeah. Sorry, yes. I I do, but okay. It's, there are like four good Star, five, four good Star Wars movies. Dude, this is just you're just telling me your own opinion. I know, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's just a bunch of subjective stuff. No, it's not. There are four, oh. as everyone knows, there are four good Star Wars movies. Everyone, it's a write fact. that down in your notebook. It is. It's a fact. No, because I don't remember the plot of any of them, so I don't even like really any of them, to be honest. I liked How Force Awakens. I thought that was pretty fun. Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> dude, there's nothing wrong with liking something that you don't like. If I had the ability to disappear Ahsoka from existence as a character, I would. Because she's a, because fucking... she's a woman. Not that's nope. not, not right. I said, like, that's just what, how why Ethan thinks that. Ahsoka in the fucking Clone Wars is fine, and then I think Clone Wars Season seven's fucking bad, and then I think uh, Dave Filoni loves his own characters and loves to insert them into everything where they don't fucking belong. You seem to have more harsh, passionate opinion about Star Wars than most other topics. Where do you think that comes from? Uh, it comes from just the nature of Star Wars on the internet, because they're like, I grew up watching the prequels, and then you tell them, like, okay, what's the plot of the Phantom Menace? and they can't tell you and then they get mad i'm still confused like what's the point like why why star wars specifically do you think that that specific uh fan base it's just because it's so wide-reaching right it's got like there are more people that know and are willing to talk about star wars than almost anything else you guys don't know it's gonna explode my bladder's gonna blow <laughs> my bladder's gonna blow get up Is it get up
No! Oh, dude, he's like a full grown man, dude. I know. He's isn't he a father? Does he have kids? I think he might. It's lighter. I just it doesn't fit in my hand the right way. I think my hands are fucked up. I think you just gotta gotta practice with it. Have you ever had a Zippo lighter before? Ah, oh, for the love of God! Dude, did I ever tell you like one time I found out that you could look at your Reddit history of what you've downvoted, and I looked at mine and it was all Star Wars posts. <laughs> I don't think about Star Wars that much. I've seen all the movies like at least once or twice each or three times. Right, like, but but also you have to remember that like I've seen all these movies like a million times. And then also like one of my favorite movies ever comes out and it's like universally hated by the internet so much that they make a notes app apology version of a movie called <laughs> The Rise of Skywalker where they bring back everyone's favorite Palpatine. And there's literally a line in the movie where Poe Dameron says somehow Palpatine returned. We don't know how and also neither does the movie because it's never explained how he comes back. It's seeing uh, something that you care about destroyed. <laughs> I just like don't really care about Star Wars just that much. Like it's just so goofy to me. We're on our way to make sure the Listen to the dialogue. To power back to the Senate. He won't give up his power. I've just learned a terrible truth. I think Chancellor Palpatine is a Sith Lord. <laughs> a Sith Lord? This is the twist yes. of the movie. He was just told the man who has power over the whole galaxy is the Sith Lord they've been looking for for years. What a miscast, too. What a horrible cast. <laughs> oh my god, like, dude. Why are I'm gonna you get, so angry? You're I'm gonna get Samuel L. I'm gonna <laughs> dude, like, you're I'm, freaking me out for real. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like, bro, we're talking about Star Wars. What are we doing here? Because people defend this. This is like people. Sir, this is some. This is literally some people think this is a masterpiece. Yeah, dude. And some people like the chain smokers. And some people uh, like fucking. What's a bad TV show? You got a bad TV show, but not like a controversial. I don't need another like fucking uh, Hunter I X Hunter. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Also, it's Hunter Hunter. I have never even seen the show, and I know that. Yeah, because you I watch was... anime. I don't watch. Anime, dude. I don't watch anime. You know, I, um, ten. You can name ten times more animes than me. Riverdale. Riverdale is not an anime. No, I'm just talking about a bad TV show. Yeah, I know people like Riverdale, but like, here's the thing: it's like normal to like the prequels. It's not normal to like Riverdale. Yeah, but it's just a nostalgia thing. People also like every other fucking bad movie. No, but I feel like I'm time. being gaslit. You're not being gaslit. You just don't like something. It's just subjective. Like you can't trick people. Not. Into it. No, it's dude, objective. It literally is though it's like, bad you can't like i i hate to tell you i think the movies fucking suck too but like people like bad Ugh. shit like they always will there's always music that people aren't gonna like there's always this and that there's music that's like sh super shitty that people still like just because it was played at their eighth grade dance it's the same thing right but like imagine your favorite album and then the band puts out an album that recontextualizes your favorite album and makes it worse yeah dude it's called 21 pilots <laughs> <laughs> Their music fucking sucks, dude. These movies took what I loved and made it bad and made it worse from then on. Because now all future Star Wars lore has to account for this fucking garbage. I mean, it did. It's a fucking Disney franchise. That doesn't address any of what I just said. <laughs> It just doesn't matter. Like, it's just a one big fucking... It's a big, big robot. Someone said if y'all's friendship breaks over this... We're not disagreeing on anything. <laughs> no, Nick's just trying to tell me it's not It's not that deep. Yeah, there's people <laughs> in the chat who are disagreeing with Ethan, but I'm not. We have. There's no bad blood between us. I'm just like... I'm just being a therapist to him. Yeah, we should have you and Derek do a star wars debate and then i'll like go to bed and then we can do like a <laughs> subathon and you guys could just like donate you guys could just sub to me like overnight while i sleep and they could just kind of go at it honestly i think the Bo book of boba fett was like the best thing so far shut the fuck up <laughs> more like the book of boobs and feet <laughs> <laughs> what's our progress i think i maxed out of it we were like two minutes into it i sent you another quartering video that doesn't have star wars in it what's going on everyone jeremy here it's the same story. fucking recording session Very like, who's watching him i'm just so confused Dude, like, almost 200,000 people who goes to this guy for their news very I don't know. predictable news about the lunatics that uh have been following dave Chappelle around apparently uh goes by anquifa swamp creature uh is he what is he saying is he trying to make a joke or i can't tell if he's talking about the story or if this is like it's supposed to be a joke oh that anquifa joke is uh if it if it is one i don't know he didn't know how to deliver it if it's just like 
mm, that didn't taste good. But uh, according to uh, Maya Cathal or Mia Cathal, worth a follow on Twitter, by the way. And Queen this is like the, the CIA, dude. This, this is, is like right wingers crazy... pretending to attack Dave Chappelle. Like, look at this. This is not <laughs> also what is uh, the, this website that this is on is insane. And also, he has his downloads down here, and this says Coffee the Shapiro BLM activists who were arrested at the anti Dave Chappelle protest. <clears throat> What's that cartoon? Yeah, I'm a little confused. Like, oh, it says don't say gay. And, and then it's a, a monkey? monkey hitting the donkey. And it says monkey oh. oh pox. It says pox on the monkey head. So it's monkey oh, pox. Monkey pox, monkey is, pox killing. is killing the don't say gay. But oh, 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 I got it. I got it. They think that Democrats are releasing monkey pox and pretending that monkey pox is real to distract from passing the don't say gay bill, which like happened a minute ago. I think it's homophobic. I don't think it's like anti-democrat necessarily. I think it's like oh, all Democrats yeah. are gay and monkeypox is coming like with a real hitter. Mm. You know, monkeypox is going to kill all the Democrats, they're saying, even though it doesn't really kill you. Also, yeah, I they see. think monkeypox is a gay disease when it's not, even if it was just a gay disease, bisexual people exist and can spread it to non-gay people as a result. Wow, that's even worse than the other one. AIDS? No, than the other explanation that I had for it. Oh, <laughs> A circus of far left extremists were arrested in Minneapolis at the direct action. Dude, I can't even watch a video of this because he can't, he doesn't, he just can't read. Like, it's just frustrating. <laughs> like, Turn the speed up. I can't actually. Let's just hit him with a two. Against irreverent funny guy Dave Chappelle's performance last Friday. The venue was relocated to Varsity Theater after woke activists accusing the black medium of phobia targeted Chappelle sold out comedy show. The initial first half of the local. He didn't even say transphobia, he just said phobia. Where the fuck is he reading this? This is such an opinion piece. Yeah, it's so bizarre. The theater after woke activists accusing the black comedian of phobia. Dude, like, how? Like, this is your job. This is your whole thing. This is all you have to do. The one thing you have to do to make money is tell the news. You just gotta explain the news to people. That's when your job. The worst reader in class gets chosen for popcorn. <laughs> Everyone's like, God damn, why do they have to force us to read? Located to Varsity Theater after woke activists mm. accusing the black comedian of phobia targeted Chappelle's sold out comedy show at the initial First Avenue locale earlier the week <laughs> pressured event management to cancel the stand up act. The cry bullies were successful, forcing the impromptu move. The cry bullies. Oh yeah, that's what? some real unbiased news you're reading right there. I know, it's insane to say things like that. <laughs> It'd be like, I'm gonna deliver you guys the news. Like, imagine if Hassan was like, pulled up an article or something, and it's like, the little itty bitty baby boys went after the Capitol this weekend. Duh. <sighs> I've literally never lost that round. I've never lost that round. I've oh, he's got the what? Did he? Oh, I was like, did he change hats? But I forgot. Or no, the other. Yeah, we still got to watch the one where he's wearing the one that says bad boy. Yeah. Oh, I just dropped my lighter. Hang on. I got to go get my water bottle. Just hours before <laughs> Chappelle was set to take the stage on the first of his three consecutive days in the Democrat stronghold, showcasing unapologetic comedic his unapologetic comedic repertoire including jabs that come for all <laughs> repertoire repertoire what was that about including jabs that come for all pull no punches and trigger the wrath of quote the alphabet people <laughs> the alphabet people do you like the way he looked at the camera like the before he said the alphabet people <laughs> He was so proud of himself. The alphabet people. Including jabs that come for all, pull no punches, and trigger the wrath of, quote, showcasing unapologetic comedic, his unapologetic comedic repertoire. Repertoire. <laughs> repertoire. <laughs> the alphabet people. He's like trying to do his best Tucker Carlson impression. Oh, the yeah, a little bit. People. The alphabet people. He's not doing it right, though. Tucker Carlson's more like what they're teaching in your schools. <laughs> is the alphabet people's rhetoric. They'll tell you that it's education, when in reality, <laughs> it's anything but. You and Tucker Carlson are pretty similar in a lot of ways, now that I see it. Someone said in chat, first time chat from viewer, have you ever overdosed on shrooms before? Sorry for asking, my guy. Why would you apologize for asking a question before I answer? That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel like you need to you say sorry after. Like, why would you say sorry? I love it's like sorry if it, it's not. They're not saying like sorry if this is uncomfortable. Just sorry, sorry for, for asking. asking. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, uh, do do you like want to hang out later? Sorry, I, I'm sorry for asking. Like, <laughs> so stupid. A sideshow of masked, colored Dude, hair. I don't even know what he's and saying. Mostly white anti fash sought to shut down the black comic prior to showtime. One of the showgoers. He's not even like saying it. He's not even. He's just reading. He's spending yeah. the whole time. When is he gonna give his opinion? Quote. And footage are permitted to. He's be still reading the article. <laughs> oh, oh, get it. Oh man. I mean, just get it. Hell yeah, I love police. What is this out. video? I think it's funny, like how you know the, the. It's like I think it's like a weird badge of honor or something like that to get this i don't know but, i've been hit in like the bypass of it and it's not great it's not great oh he's saying uh, it's a badge things? of honor to get pepper sprayed Dean who asserts that she what? is quote living on stolen dakota land in the twin cities is a like this is just the fucking classic example of just like taking this is everybody this thing that happened is associated with everybody that disagrees every queer with person me. yeah yeah is just like this i mean and this person's like fake look in january 2021 a medium post titled i shit my pants at work being dedicated an entire rather candid article to the chronicling or detailed tale of workplace incontinence and survival all while dealing with long covid under capitalism bullshit this is an op or it's a troll, but people like the quartering are stupid and they'll believe anything that they see in front of them as long as it confirms their biases. I want you to there, confirm buddy. my thighs, you see? Dude, you're always fucking undermining my goddamn points. What's in that drink, dude? Why are you like eating out of it? It's a chocolate cake shake. So basically they put uh, chocolate cake in the shake and then at the bottom of, once you finish the shake, there's chocolate cake at the bottom. So I'm eating the chocolate cake. <sighs> but I'm ready. Oh my God. I just peed in my basement. <laughs> that is the best sound. I just peed in my basement. <laughs> That's how you know he's fucking sloshed. That's a hit. Uh, Bambi, what the F? What's he doing? He knocked over my phone off the desk. No, not in the kitty litter. Just, uh... In he the didn't even do it in his cat's litter box. <laughs> Not that I prefer him to. That, that would be so fucking weird. <laughs> that would be so bizarre. Imagine, imagine he's like, it's like overflowing the litter box. Yeah, because it would be, it would be so much piss. Like, it's just like a fucking. <laughs> it's covering it's like over. A pool. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how many people are watching him, but there's like one chat every like. I don't know how that even happens because he's like popular, kind of. Watching PewDiePie play this is really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're a dude that if you want to watch a dude that's going to piss in the fucking what is he saying, dude? Uh, overflow tank in his base basement. That's who I am. He pissed in the overflow tank in his basement. And you know how like public restrooms will have like a fucking drain in the ground. I'm guessing he has something like that. Oh yeah, that's definitely what it is. It's the old, like a creepy yeah. basement drain. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not taking a pause to pee. But he did though. It was just a little shorter than it would have been. You want to watch Andrew Tate's music video? Um, no, but I will. This is, this is like actually really, it's funny how like how obviously awful it is. Like he can't even pass it off as like a decent trap song. Also like he looks like such a dweeb. He looks like such a little dork here. He just looks off. Go suicide, Kurt Cobain, McLaren 720, but it sounds like a plane. When I'm on the road, staying white chicks, no doubt. Kind of money made these hoes want to shout, so bounce with me, bounce with me. Got my brother in the gang sipping in the house with me. Suicide, suicide, suicide. It's do or die, do or die, do or die. Make them wanna lose their mind. <laughs> when they see the money, wanna roll with the gang. They come to you to die. Haters wanna talk, we just dig another grade. No, no joke. Free smoke, supermodels, deep throat. On a wave while you're struggling to float. Still setting sails, might buy myself a boat or, or a yacht. I'm too hot. <laughs> 25 bottles when I step- Or a yacht. <laughs>
gonna do this rap like it's bacon. Bacon. Epic meal time, Harley, what's he making? Making. Making bacon all day long. Long. Gonna put it on my schlong. Schlong. Harley, epic meal time, he's my hero. Gonna go from 100 to zero. <laughs> he's good at slot so with the world, mama? People living like they ain't got no mamas. <laughs> the whole world's addicted to the drug. <laughs> In the USA, the big CIA. Yeah, you got this one, Ethan. Bloods and the Crips and the KKK. Oh, why do you say that? But if you only have love, children and I in the crime. <laughs> really practice what you preach. Love, love. Thank you for playing You Cringe, You Smoke for the eighth episode, maybe. Ethan, you're not looking very well. Can you say bye to everybody? Sorry, I got nervous. It's okay, man. It's okay. Go ahead. Hi. Fuck. Oh my god, could he take any longer? Hey, man, it's totally fine. Bye. That's all you wanted to say? Just bye? You didn't want to promote? Well, you said say bye. What do you want to plug? <laughs> my fucking lights out of the wall, am I right? Turn them on. No, no, that's not what I meant. Uh, you can look at me on YouTube. Ew, dude. <laughs>